Back at January 30th, 2017, Wildcard has finally released the first phase of Tech Tier that is available to everyone. Along with Tech Tier Edition Phase 1, they also added difficulties for the bosses for each boss, Broodmother, Megapithecus, Dragon, and Manticore on Scorched Earth, starting with Easy, continuing with Medium, and ending on Hard. Each difficulty of a boss gives you different rewards. You probably want to do boss fights only for two reasons. First reason is you farming so-called element, which is a resource for your endgame gear that is called tech tier. Tech tier is essentially your endgame gear available to craft after you get certain bosses killed in order to know their engrams. In order to craft or even use this specific tech tier item, you have to know its tech gram that is, again, obtainable by killing bosses. What tech tier essentially offers is the armor set, its weapon, and building tier and also a crafting station that lets you craft pretty much anything in just a second. This crafting station is called Tech Replicator, which is essentially smithy and fabricator in one. And it also crafts your tech gear arsenal. Basically, long story short, you'll probably want to have this gear at the end of the game in order to be the most powerful and in order to build underwater bases, which were recently introduced to the game with the recent patch 256. But let's talk about if you're having a struggle killing Broodmother in the first place. What if you are struggling with actually defeating her? You can pretty much do it in solo, but my friend and I here decided to do it with different set. So we pretty much spawned Rexes that start with level 300, which is not exactly the level that is maximum in the game on the difficulty offset of 5. If you get the best tame on any animal when they are level 150 and you tame them with kibble, they'll end up either at 224 or 225 level. And then you'll be able to level up the creature 66 times. The max tame dino level is going to be 294 in this case. But we wanted to do it with the imprinting quality. Instead of just putting imprint on every rex, we just decided to give them extra levels to compensate the imprinting stats. Anyways, what we realized, we have about 8 Rexes, 2 Therizinos, and we took 1 Rhinoceros that is perfectly bred, level 320, with imprinted quality of 100% and is being written by the person who imprinted on it. Keep in mind, you can only bring 20 animals maximum to the boss fight and 10 players maximum. That goes to all boss arenas. So anyways, what we realized, there were certain numerous occasions where people would surround the broodmother with rexes or one of them would just go inside of her hitbox making her legit frozen in action so she would not do any kind of instances of attack not spawn spiders not do any hits not even raw legit nothing our theory was that could only happen at the certain amount of hp she actually gets as in she would have that flea mechanic that spinosaur has when it's about to die we really thought it could be one of the occasions why it happens but we realized it wasn't exactly a case. It didn't have such mechanic. It just happens randomly, and you have to have a perfect animal sitting underneath its legs and cause her to have that freeze stance. So how exactly is this achievable? It's very hard to say whether you're doing it or not, but you have to at least try, get as many creatures as you can inside of that hitbox. But it seems it doesn't only work with Rexes, even though it should, but in rare occasions. But we took Rhinoceros with us, as I said already a couple of times. But it was printing infinitely underneath its legs, and it was doing massive amount of damage that you probably should consider taking Rhinoceros with you. It is very useful. On this footage, you're gonna see how exactly we achieved it very much early. And I'd like to ask you to observe it carefully, because I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna comment on this. So I'll just leave this footage with live commentary of mine, but I couldn't record my friend's voice because I forgot to record the Discord at the same time. I apologize for that, but majority of commentaries I'll be doing in this live footage are about the method. So, thank you very much for sticking out, I hope it will help you. Oh, see spiders, oh my fucking... Oh, see, 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 told you! So, it's not quarter HP as you say, it's just my positioning, the rider's positioning has to go into her mouth while you're being aimed, and you also. Fuck. I'm actually worried to fucking leave it- Oh, fuck, oh no. Yeah, I fucking see that. Mm. 
Yes, I am as deep as her. Rexus, what the fuck? What the? Yeah, like, well, look, she's not attacking. As soon as you go in and you have enough Rexus surrounding, not surrounding her, but just bashing her from one side. You are and I am. Maybe more than one have to be inside. With the radius of ag with the radius of um, Broodmother's character model, like underneath her, I'd say where you at. That could be her epicenter. That also, you know how T Rexes have the text coming out of their fucking thighs. Yeah, and underneath them, it's a collision box with the ground. So something. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how to call it. Dude, she's still, she's still confused. Like, look, my center of a model is inside of hers, completely, one on one, where my legs, where my legs are, and you are not so far away from me either. That's where my hair is with the rider, and you can see it's right underneath her sack, Th like real, real legs. He just, she just doesn't move. So that would be a great tip to look forward to. Like, the first, the first thing is, you have to get at least two people underneath her and make everything else attack. Yeah, because she can't do any attack sequences, yeah. And look at her HP, fuck. They are. Surprisingly, it's just, I never see people use them, I never seen any kind of raid or any kind of PvP thing or even boss arena or PvE. Nobody uses rhinos, it's, they're so underrated. And this is a large dinosaur. Well, animal. As you can see, this is with the hard broodmother case. Also, uh, the server has reduced damage resistance on the boss, so expect the same effect, but longer. Because we wanted to do it short with the player limit we have on our server. Doesn't look that bad. If you get yourself manipulated really, like, if you'll be able to master this kind of manipulation on the boss by going inside of her and not letting her attack, you're Gucci. You're fucking Gucci. This is Broodmother. We're not sure about the others. The others wouldn't work. Dragon flies away on a half or quarter HP lost, 50% HP lost, and 75% HP lost. Maybe you can stack him. I don't know. We'll check it out. Uh, Mega Pithecus? Doubtful. Well, you can do the same thing, but not sure about the collision box. With Rexus, it probably would be possible. But so with something smaller like Rhinos. If we get multiple Rhinos? I don't know. Look, she doesn't attack. She's completely dumb. I think it's very much encouraged to do such strategy to get rid of a struggle you might be having. But we just wanted to make it clear that it is possible. And you don't have to bring excessive amount of guns with different qualities in order to be dominating. I am pretty much aware that there might be better methods than this, but I believe this method is probably one of the most used if it's noticed by someone else. So I really hope you guys found it very much useful for your end of voice, and I really wish you luck. It was the first kind of a video I've ever done as in guide with commentaries, but I hope you found it pretty much useful. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.